Good morning, hockey fans. This is Stephen Heisler with HeisHockey.com, the victorious hockey company, and the Junior Hockey Discussion Group on Facebook. You are watching the Junior Hockey Morning Show. We are on the World Sports Broadcasting Network, WSBN.TV, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. Hopefully, you're enjoying this fine Monday morning last Monday before Thanksgiving at your office this morning, in your car, listening, wherever you are. We hope that you had a great weekend in hockey. Today is Monday, November 20th, 2023. We do the wrap-up show on Monday. We'll kind of run through what's going on, um, standings throughout the leagues that are at the free-to-play level across North America. Let's jump right into that. In the United States Hockey League, we have the, the, the Butte Fighting Saints and Fargo Force leading their divisions. Both teams have eight wins in the last 10 games. Have to appreciate what's going on with both those programs. Dubuque is a long-standing USHL staple, and Fargo with Casey Eads is doing a fantastic job once again. The division leaders of the North American Hockey League are starting to separate themselves from the masses. Minot has ridden a six-game winning streak to the top of the Central Division and are now four points ahead of the Austin Bruins. The East Division leading Maryland Black Bears are trying to hold back the hard-charging Maine Nordiques, who are red hot with nine wins in their last ten games. Maryland is just a point ahead of Maine in the standings. The Minnesota Wilderness continue to lead the Midwest Division with a four-point lead over Wisconsin and six points over Anchorage and Janesville. There are a few surprises in the South Division. The Lone Star Brahmas are on top of the heap with a five-point lead over New Mexico. The Colorado Grit have just one win in the last ten games. The British Columbia Hockey League, Surrey Eagles and Petitian Vs are holding on to the commanding divisional leads. The Eagles are six points ahead of Alberni Valley, and the Vs are five ahead of Vernon. Roses are red and violets are blue, and there's no surprise that the Brooks Bandits are on top of the Alberta Junior Hockey League. Sherwood Park is four points behind the leaders. You have to love what's going on in Saskatchewan. The Vatera Division is a parking lot with four, all four teams in the mix. Only four points separate division-leading Melville Millionaires from the, the Yorkton Terriers. Battle for just smoking hot and leading the Neutron Division. The best team in the league is the Sherwood Division, Flin Flon Bombers who are 18-1-1 one one in their first 20 games. Manitoba Junior Hockey League finds the Verdon Oil Capitals and Steinbach Pistons leading the division races, both holding on the four-point leads. A lot of drama last week in the North American Three Hockey League concerning the Mid-City Stars. Heard some responses from the North American Three Hockey League owners and North American Hockey League owners that the league is addressing the problem. So far, we've heard nothing from the league addressing the problems. That's concerning. So how can the league continue to operate and let these things just slide on by, let kids continue to be really abused by a program that doesn't seem to care what's happening or what they're doing. We've seen this behavior from the NEHL in the past, Sheridan Hawks, for example, and there's been other programs that have fallen by the wayside that have completely ignored standards that it seems to be the, 
way of dealing with this is to let time pass and let things settle down a little bit. That's exactly what the Allen family hopes that you're going to do. It's not something that I am willing to do. I am willing to keep on this situation continuously until the Allens go away. This week, since the league didn't do anything last week, this week I will be in communication with the Dallas Stars. I'm letting them know what's happening with the program using their name there in the Dallas Metroplex area. That's it for this morning. We hope that you enjoy your morning coffee and have a great day in hockey.